speaking, not presenting, and uh, let's welcome him to the stage. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ben. Um, I've negotiated my time. I'm only going to speak for five minutes. <laughs> so a lot of people want um, more, but I want less. Uh, my apologies, I don't have any presentation to show you, but I do have um, some points I would like to convey to you as the economy goes. Uh, I thank the organizers for inviting Kirbis, and um, here goes. Um, the, the figures that I'll be talking on will be referring to the um, 2011 figures for Kiribati from the Kiribati National Statistics. So we have that, and I'll be talking on the real GDP. So just for the sake of um, those who uh, like numbers, because I will not spend time on numbers. I will go right into what we do in order to address improving on the numbers. So for the numbers, uh, 2008 is, is uh, 2.8. 2009, it's a negative growth of uh, 0 0.7. 2010 is a negative uh, 0 0.5, 2011, negative 3.3. Uh, government keeps an eye on um, sectors, and the sectors we've, um, we've, we've uh, put the, you know, the various uh, groupings into uh, include the private sector, of course, the non-financial uh, non public sector, um, the financial sector, the government, of course, and then we have the private non-profit uh, institutions. Taxes on production, subsidies on production. It's a very, um, I think there's a fancy name that the statistics have put in there. Uh, it's subsidies for non-operating um, um, SOEs. And so those are the things that maybe I've uh, alluded to is gonna be, I'm gonna be discussing. Um, in trying to uh, ensure that we uh, improve um, economic growth, um, what we're doing is uh, we, in collaboration with our government partners, uh, OSLEAD um, and us, um, we have a KEEP project. And what we're doing is we're trying to, it's uh, lots of money coming in. So it also uh, gives a, almost a false um, um, heartbeat of what's happening in the economy because there's a lot of money being in, you know, injected in the country through that project. But it's a very um, useful project, is to uh, improve on the, um, on the English um, um, language for the people that we require, and that's what's happening. Um, also, the, um, we have the Tibet program that's, um, that um, also is involved in as well. And that, that also is uh, improving, uh, it's gonna be improving our ability to integrate into international markets and also enhance what we already have in the Marine Training Center and our seafarers. So we're also doing that. Um, we're doing the, um, we're also improving our, the SOE performances. Um, for those who are following our parliament, we have the, uh, the recently uh, adopted um, SOE Act and putting more uh, responsibility to the, uh, to the directors. Uh, as it is, I'm one of a director and I think I'm opting out of the, this is adopted in the next city. And uh, it's um, making sure that they, um, they respond or they answer to the decisions that they make. And this is, if you look at our budget and our spendings, and I'm sure most of you know more of our budget than I do, um, uh, you will see that we spent, um, I think for the past um, five or so years, we've spent close to 20 million going into the, um, um, you know, trying to uh, rescue the state-owned enterprises. So we need to have in place. And again, with the assistance of a lot of our government partners, we've uh, put together this bill. And uh, it's being, uh, it's gonna be, it's start, we're starting to implement it. A lot of ministries are starting to do that. And by that, um, a lot of times, a lot of the, um, the um, political leaders, um, of course, are politically minded. They would rather to have their friends on the, on the board instead of those who are able to ensure that the state-owned enterprises um, function as they're supposed to. So now that's changing. Um, and I hope that um, we'll see the results of that, the outcome of that um, in the near future. The um, privatization, we're already, you know, almost in line, hand in hand with that. Um, 
that those uh, uh, SOEs that, um, that have um, what we call, it, they um, died a natural death. And so, uh, you know, we've um, liquidated them and sold them. And, um, you know, the others are you know, coming in. But then there are those, um, those uh, uh, sectors that uh, cannot be easily um, replaced or be um, supplied by the private sector. To respond to that, uh, we're trying to invite a lot of uh, invite uh, foreign investors. I once was on the um, Foreign Investment Commission, and it's very difficult to try and convince <coughs> um, different-minded secretaries to come up with one solution, and that is to make it just open, where anybody from abroad can just come and, and you know take charge instead of what's happening. Our shipping um, sector is failing. Uh, we don't have, we used to, we played around with the, uh, the uh, international airlines. Um, now they're all gone. Um, you know, twice I said, I said played around because we did it twice. And, uh, you know, they, they didn't succeed. Maybe we, we don't know what we're doing in that area. We need to, we need experts from abroad to come in and do it. And hopefully transfer that knowledge to us so that we can um, get, we can get the benefits out of operating those. Um, the introduction of the VAT. Um, we believe that a system is so perfect, where you know we get the receipts from the um, from the um, business uh, businessman, and that's exactly what, what they had paid for in order to get their goods in. We s soon learned that that's not the real world. The real world is um, you get tricked left and right. So we are hoping that um, with the um, with the VAT we'll be able to. Um, um, get the taxes that were um, supposed to be um, collected by government, and um, it's going to be a new. Um, that's going to be a new system, a new be, a new thing in Kiribati. So we don't know how it's going to go, but again, we're getting assistance with that, and uh, we're looking forward to implementing that. The increase in self-reliance. We talk about full security, and um, you know it was a topic of another discussion just um, you know before I come up here. Have I used my five minutes? Uh, you have three minutes? I have three minutes left. Okay, I'll talk very quickly. So I, I didn't need to um, give away my time. Okay, food security, um, self-reliance. We import almost, I think, uh, 70 or 80% of what we use in, in the country, if not more. We need to turn into our own food items. Rice, we've studied. Um, those exporters or, you know, the, um, the suppliers, they're, they're starting to limit the amount of rice. So we realize we need to go back to our food crops. And that's going to be a very difficult transition to do. Um, I've already <coughs> spoken about foreign investment. Um, we need to improve our international um, um, air travel. And I say that because um, we have uh, seafarers that um, have to go off. And the, the, the remittances they send back uh, make, make up a substantial amount of our budget, our revenue. So we need to improve on that one. Uh, tourism, we've been talking about it for a very long time. Nothing has happened, but we're still talking about it. Uh, climate change, um, maybe there's a potential there for people. And maybe we can put a label there and say, um, come now or never come. It's gone. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, climate change, uh, proofing. We believe in that. Uh, we need to make sure that... Um, with the, you know, the, um, the issues of climate change, we, we, want, we want to make sure that any uh, major projects, just like the, um, the uh, road rehabilitation project that's ongoing, that the, its climates are approved, well, to the best that we can. So, and so that at cost. That's why I have to put it in there. That's it, that's cost to our budget. 30 seconds. And then, of course, fishing. Uh, we want to make sure that we get our reasonable returns on our on those who want to come and fish in our water. Thank you very much.